The Subdivide program provides you with several routines that you can use to subdivide a tract into smaller parcels. In this video, I'm going to show you the routine that does it manually by drawing in the dividing lines with the mouse. Now, this method will not allow you to create lots at an exact area, but it will let you create lots quickly and easily, even with complex parcels like this one that includes a cul-de-sac. So here we have a parcel, and it's been drawn using the tract command. And what that means is that instead of being individual lines or arcs, it's actually a complete collection of line work that can be treated as one single drawing entity. For example, if I click on one of the lines, the entire thing is highlighted, not just the line that I clicked on. Also notice that it is what we call a closed parcel, meaning that it starts and ends at the same point, creating a completely enclosed area. One other important point to remember about this routine is that the original parcel here will be chopped up and replaced with the smaller parcels that we're going to create. So if you don't want to lose it, one thing you can do is use the copy command to make a copy of it. You can, of course, copy it in place, or you can make a copy and just move it off to the side here. So now we're ready to go. To start the command, go to the Tools menu, then Subdivide a Tract, then Subdivide Tract by Line. Down in the bottom left corner, it's asking us to select the tract that we want to subdivide. And to do that, all I have to do is click anywhere on the boundary line. Now, note that just clicking inside the tract will not work. You must click on a boundary line. Now it's asking for the first point of the dividing line and the second point. And last, it wants us to enter a name for the new track that will be created. And I'll just leave it at Lot 2 and click OK. And now, as you can see, we have two parcels, one right there and then the remainder here. Notice that this remainder is still highlighted. And the program is once again prompting us for the starting point for another dividing line. The routine will repeat this prompt sequence, letting you quickly fill in more lots just about as fast as you can click the mouse. So we can just keep going right on around like that. Notice that the program automatically locks onto boundary lines, including curves, in the cul-de-sac. In fact, the routine will only let you pick points on the boundary. However, you can still use some of the snap modes if you want to. Suppose I want to take the remainder here and divide it up lengthwise back to the west edge. This time I'll go up here and turn on the midpoint snap. And now when I click on this lot line, it will automatically lock on to the midpoint of that line. And now I can click the west edge for the second point, but instead of just clicking a random point over here, I'm going to go up there and use the perpendicular snap and now when I click on that edge, it'll force the dividing line to be perpendicular or 90 degrees to it. And touches like that make for a nice clean design. Now we're finished with the command, so I'll just hit the Enter key or press Escape, and the routine is finished. And if I click on some of the lots, you can see that they are indeed now individual parcels. And if you don't like the looks of what we just did, press Control Z and we can undo all the way back to the start. Let's divide this up again, but this time let's be a little more precise. I'm going to go up here to the settings menu and turn the tick marks on. Now you can see that when I drew in the right of way, I did it in 100 foot increments. I'm going to use those segments there to lock in the new lot lines every 100 feet along this straight section of road. So once again, I'll start the command. I'll select the tract. And for the first point, I'm going to click on the end point of this segment here. And I don't have to hit it perfectly. As long as I'm close, the program will automatically lock on to the end point. 
Now I need to select a point on the back lot line, and for that I'm going to use the perpendicular snap. And there it is. Now I'll do the next lot the same way. And notice that I use the perpendicular snap each time for the point on the back lot line. The result is that my lots are nice and orderly, with each of the lot lines parallel to their neighbors and the distances all equal. So with a little planning, you can actually create some precise lots with this powerful tool. One last word of advice when using this tool, and that is to be careful not to subdivide a tract where it doesn't make any sense to do so. For instance, if I start the command and then subdivide right across that cul-de-sac, the program will do it, but the end result doesn't make any sense at all. That is not a viable parcel.